All right, everyone. Welcome to Uncle Bronson's podcast, the first of many. Uh, we're very excited today because we have Devin Kelfusi here, my little brother. We're so excited to interview him. He's the guinea pig, of course. <laughs> Devin, thanks for coming today, man. Awesome, man. Thanks for having me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're pretty excited because we have a lot to talk about. There's so much happening uh, in the college football world. And I'm sure you're excited. How, how, how's it been, you know, this summer getting ready for the season? Yeah. I mean, so I play football at the University of Utah. Mm -hmm. I'm a defensive tackle. I'm a junior this year. So my junior season. And we're just in the summer workouts and getting ready for, ready for season. But like Bronson said, there's been a wrinkle in this year from all the other years of college football. And that's been, you know, the change of the whole name, image, and likeness. Yeah. No, no, you're right. I, for me, it's crazy because, man, I wish I had name, image, and like this when I was in college. I'd be taking advantage of it. Um, I guess, what's your what's your take on it when it first came out to now? Has it changed? Is it the same? It's my take on it since it first came out, so it's still, it's still really new. Mm -hmm. Nothing has really changed big for me. I'm, I think it's just a kind of a big kind of like talk and – know kind of still kind of like a thought and idea and mm -hmm. so there's a lot of potential there i feel like that's the same feeling in the locker room yeah um everyone's trying to figure out like how to you know optimize this and take advantage of the opportunity yeah because it is such a big opportunity but a lot of people really don't understand like yeah you know the whole I idea of it or the whole you know the whole logistics of it all yeah there's a lot that comes with it because i know you know for me thinking when i was in college at BYU, it would have been so hard to know how to capitalize something like this because mm -hmm. I felt like as a college athlete, I mean, you're so focused on your sport, practice, getting homework done. You know, you're so busy. It's like, man, I don't know if I, I don't know how to do this. Like, this is such a new realm. So I guess for yourself, how do you feel uh, or how do you plan to capitalize on it? Well, I think the, the biggest thing is it's not really like, how do I feel in, in marketing and stuff? It's everyone's just like, how do I get money in my pocket? Because mm -hmm. life as a college that's athlete. That's the ultimate goal, right? Well, yeah, it, it's the goal, but as a college athlete, it's really hard. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we could talk about, you know, a lot, a lot of people don't know that. Um, so only college athletes really get it. Yeah. So it's so time consuming and energy consuming. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard. You know, the scholarship is there and it covers, you know, the, the needs of rent and, and food and stuff. But we do so much and we just always hope, you know, if we had a couple extra hundred bucks, that'd help a lot. So I think that's going to be the, the main, that's it, a couple hundred bucks. It would change to a college kid, like 500 extra dollars a month for a college athlete would feel change like it a all. lottery. Oh, yeah. no even, doubt. Oh even my just, gosh. Even just like a thousand dollars in your pocket. And that's the thing. College athletes don't need like big money deals. They just need a couple extra hundred bucks or ways to, or, or, or more. And I think it's really, really feasible. Yeah. Doable. So that's, that's what, NIL holds within itself is not people getting confused about, you know, like the challenge of uh, marketing, like that comes with it, but people are just, how do we leverage this now to put money in our in yeah. Our pocket? No, yeah, I agree. I felt like, I felt like, you know, our college athlete, and I had a lot of friends in the locker room that would do practice, do school, and then, then they go work because yeah. that extra, you know, a hundred bucks means I get to go eat somewhere nicer than... Uh -huh you know, any, anywhere else. And so I think, I think you're right, right there. I think you're onto something where, you know, these guys, they can, I mean, you guys, mm -hmm. well, this awesome opportunity to mm -hmm. where instead of going and working four or five days during the week, during mm -hmm. the season, now you might have one gig and you make that much money mm -hmm. and uh, it's signing autographs or something. Yeah. Well, I think, well, it's just, I think it's great because you look in the past, players were suspended for signing autographs. Yeah, for favors and YouTube, YouTube channels, YouTube, everything. And so, you know, it because they're just trying to really survive. It's true. And so true. now you're able to let them, you know, actually do what they want to do. The guys that are driven and are learning to now market themselves into this NIL. But even, just, you know, you, you're in a college locker room. I'm in a college locker room. You know, there's stories of guys like there's getting girlfriends to stay at their place. They don't have to pay rent to save money. That like guys are trying yeah. to do everything they can. Everyone's sneaking food out of the facility. So they don't <laughs> have to spend money on food because. It's, you know, it, it, it's hard as a college athlete in the sense of financial. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with that. I remember, I mean, I think one of the funniest stories about that is I was for sure 
taking plates and plates of food home mm-hmm. from the uh, all you can eat, uh, you know, food place. Because uh-huh. I'm trying to save money. Exactly. <laughs> no, everyone's trying to save money, and you know, and the thing is, we're not gonna save thousands of bucks, but like extra hundred bucks yeah. goes a long you way. You know how much a D lineman costs to eat one meal? Exactly. No, <laughs> and, I mean, you know, that I was just off off of a, a week's break, and I lost a lot of weight going back to weigh in because the food not provided for me, like I'll, I'll lose weight because I need to be eating so much. Yeah. Food, oh, no doubt. And so much food is a lot of money. And so. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I totally, I totally get that. Like mm-hmm. when you have that extra money, you can go and spend what matters most to you. And as a college athlete, your body is your business. And you start yep. learning that. I mean, for me being in the NFL, that's where I spend most of my money is on mm-hmm. my food, my recovery, all those things that help me, help me stay healthy. Yeah. And I honestly think. You know, I've done a lot of research on this. I've written a lot of papers. It's easy to write about because I, I live it. You know, yeah. the compensation of student athletes. Yeah. A lot of guys, and I know for sure, you know, with anyone, when they make money, they put it towards their dream. Yeah. So, you know, true athletes that make money, they're going to put it back into them, themselves for football. Yeah. So I always say, you know, if I had a money, I would, you know, buy myself my own, you know, massage a gun or I'll buy myself a better mattress so I can have better recovery and sleep. Yeah. Or, or better meals so I could be, you know, better nutrition for yeah. for football. So I, I really think it, it, that is a big upside and benefit. A lot of people are, are worried about is, you know, they're going to get this money and they can blow it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people can make their money, but trust me, a lot of athletes are going to put it back into themselves and this yeah. so it makes it easier for them to to play the sport they love and chase those dreams. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, do you feel like with the money that athletes will be receiving from these NIL opportunities – uh, besides recovery, where else do you feel like it'll go? Um, yeah, besides besides recovery, I think just like you know, other basic needs. Yeah. Whether it's like getting a car, you know, it's yeah. important. Yeah. Um, I remember picking up a bunch of teammates. Yeah, you always got to pick up teammates and stuff. Like like I was the carpool guy. And we have and teammates <laughs> missed because you know they slept through their ride and the guys didn't wait for them and it's it, it, and it's tricky and it's tough. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like. So this basically it's like a car, you know, food. Other than that, but I mean, we know in the college world, I think the stat read from my research was eighty five percent of college, especially uh, specifically college football players, eighty five percent of the college locker room comes below the poverty line. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of guys that you know they would love to help out their family. Yeah, and we know. We yeah, we've talked. You know, talked about it earlier. Was mm-hmm. people are sending money home to help out because yeah, you know, they, it's it's their family. And it's a big sacrifice and. When you get these athletes that, you know, are so talented and, and willing and, you know, and strong and in their community and they go away, you know, they still want to be able to be present for their family or their community and, and give yeah. back. And so, yeah. And that's one of the things I feel like is, you know, so important about this NIL opportunity is you know, athletes have to take advantage of it because now they can help themselves. They can help their families. Mm-hmm. Um, and honestly, it's just with the needs that they have, you know what I mean? Yeah. So no, that's, that's awesome, man. Um, what do you feel like, do you feel like with this new change at NIL, that'll help you for the next level? I think so too. I mean, a lot of people, so, so far what's come out with NIL, a lot of people are worried about it getting in the way Mm -hmm. and distracting players. Mm -hmm. But, But you know, as you grow up in the life, we're so, you know, in this, tunnel vision as a college athlete of just our sport. Mm-hmm. So having this NIL opportunity allows us to gain other skills yeah. that are going to be lifelong skills as well. Whether we're done with sports and moving to work or business. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, it, it, it can be confusing. It might be distracting for other people, but that's with everything else in, in, yeah. in life. So, you know, we'll that's see, right. you know, the, the cream of the crop will rise and, you know, the hustlers will hustle and work hard. That's and, true. And the ones that get distracted and fade away will, will fade away. Yeah. But, you know, it always comes comes down to the person, how they use it. And so it, it will be tricky, but I honestly think it, you know, it definitely outweighs the, weighs the bad, like 100 to 1. Yeah. Um, you know, when you were talking there, I was thinking about how, you know, you're with NIL, mm-hmm. every opportunity is actually just an opportunity to learn from someone because it takes a person to create that opportunity. Someone else is going to help each athlete yes. create that opportunity. Yes. So I guess what would be like your, what would be your dream experience from NIL? I guess an opportunity from NIL. My dream experience would be 
Yeah, something that you know that helps with the you know monthly income. Yeah, I can add into that the, that scholarship stipend. Mm-hmm. Um, while at the you know at my time at the university. Yeah, uh, you know that, that'll take a lot of stress, and you know we see mental health and sports becoming bigger and bigger. Um, a lot of that stress is caused you know financially, mm-hmm. especially at the college level, and so something that works uh, that's recurring and and you know secure is would be an awesome deal. Yeah. So you more of a, cons- a consistent security really that yeah. that feeling. Mm-hmm. I didn't even think about that how. Name, image, and likeness will make you feel more secure. It may actually make you a better player because now you're off the field. You're good. You don't have to worry about that. So you're not distracted. You actually are in a better sense of mm-hmm. mind, body, spirit. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, we know. We know. Yeah. You know with me, too. I've always, you know. Yeah. I've always reached out to you and I'm you know, like stressed. And you look over my budget again and help me out there. <laughs> and a lot of my stress <laughs> comes from my financial yeah. side of things. Like, yeah. Because, you know, financial with, you know, financial success comes, you know, freedom. Yeah, definitely. In a lot of ways. And just like lifts that burden off your back and out of your mind and thinking of, yeah. and of all that. And so um, I really think it was just, just like how people can use their money to be become you know more free. That's exactly what yeah. I was going to do. Exactly. That's awesome. That's a really good thing. I was, you know, when you said that, uh, it made me think about, you know, because for myself personally, I'm similar to you is uh, I was in that same boat and I, I didn't. I didn't know about like how to do any of that stuff until mm-hmm. someone taught me. Yep. And so, I mean, that's part of this, you know, the reason why we're doing this mm-hmm. podcast is so guys can s- understand and learn some different tools that can, mm-hmm. that can help them with that. Yeah. So what's, I guess from a financial sense, I mean, we've had our financial talks and like, what's, what's one thing that you can share with other college athletes out there that can help them with their financial finesse? Um, I think just always having having a goal and a vision. I mean, that's basic, like that's super cliche with everything in life. <laughs> when it comes financially, you need to have it too. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we've talked about like you know, I want to make money to help me you know be less stressed, so I can focus more time into football or get mm-hmm. extra therapy, um, uh, you know, um, you know, physical therapy or training and stuff yeah. because t- just to give me my best shot to live my dream. And that's yeah. to be a college world player and to move on hopefully playing the league playing the league yeah and you know people don't understand that college football t- that opportunity it's only it's it's a small time it's only four years yeah. in and your life people don't understand it's yeah. really short so you, you got to make the most of it yeah it's really short you gotta make the most of it and honestly like yeah if you don't have a vision or a goal you know and money comes money comes money goes we all know that yeah but you have a goal it doesn't matter how much money you come and where you spend it and stuff, it's just going to disappear. But when you yeah. have a goal, it's able to, you know, where it's going to help out and support you. Yeah. And that's super important. And I'll, and I think a lot of guys will learn that. Mm-hmm. You know, I know just from talking in my own locker room, mm-hmm. a lot of guys, you know, that's why they're so excited and eager for this because they're able to actually, you know, expand their dreams and actually kind of, you know, another stepping stone in their, yeah. in their journey. Yeah. That's awesome. So, because you're my little brother, I kind of know a little bit about your background. Yep. So what what jobs have you had since being a college athlete? Go ahead and let's share that. Okay. <laughs> so the hardest part of being a college <laughs> athlete is, first of all, yeah, you, you know I'm on scholarship, you know. Um, you know, everyone has other financial uh, needs and stuff, or they have something that they, they pay for. And so mm-hmm. for me, you know, it's always – I've always wanted to, okay, how can I get some more money in my pocket to help me out? And the hardest part of college athlete is finding a job that um, you can com- that someone will take you on because yeah, fits your schedule. Because there's no there's no time commit. You can't commit time as a college athlete because you already have your forty plus hours in your week set up. But then you have your coaches saying, "Hey, let's get in the, the film room this yeah, week." Do and everything you gotta do well, extra. You know, and then spontaneous stuff pops up. Yeah, hey, the defensive line is meeting today. Yeah, and so you can't go. you can't have a set work schedule, and that's so hard to go out and try to find someone to hire you. Yeah, it's true because. They're like, why are we going to hire a guy for two months at a time in the off season? Mm-hmm. And it's actually less than the two months. Like, you know, that's because those things pop up. Yeah. And so my jobs have been, you know, <laughs> you know, wide and far and trying <laughs> to figure out what to share do. Them, man. I want to hear them. So share with my everyone. most recent job was um, I worked at 1-800-GOT-JUNK. And it's a junk removal service up in Salt Lake. How would you like that? It was fantastic. And it was <laughs> only fantastic because my, my boss, Bryce Atagi, 
he was a former athlete, college football player mm. from Kansas City. Yeah. And so he understood, you know, the time commitment that will be here and here and here. like we couldn't be really committed. Yeah. But he gave us an opportunity to still come in and work when we, when we could and when we wanted awesome. to. And so I was big junk removal guy. And so I would go and move couches, fridges, mattresses. Uh, I was just a bit some demolition. Easy for you. You're so big. Yeah, he's so, <laughs> so big and stuff. And so, uh, w- but that, but that was also hard and scary because then I'm like, I'm putting my body. You know, I can't. Yeah, I'm putting my body at risk, and then you could tweak your back or something. So then I, I'm, something I'm trying to help one dream, but then I could actually risk it all by if I get hurt, like doing yeah. a job like that. Yeah. And honestly, that's what most guys will do is they'll try to find a job like that, like a construction job. I know guys on campus are doing construction, yeah. and helping, mm-hmm. you know, some ceilings or some drywall. Um, I've had jobs. Uh, early morning working freight at the grocery store yeah and i was like i can do this you know it's early morning it's like 4 30 a.m yeah. in the morning yeah but then it's like it cuts into my sleep <laughs> and your sleep is so needed if you're, no, you're if, right. if you're, if you're trying right. to be a contributing starting yeah. player on your team recovery is huge it's it's huge and so um and then you know I mentioned you like, hey, I might go buy a power washer, or go clean windows, or yeah, we've talked about we talked about all this stuff because it's hard to, to <laughs> you know, you, you players want to work and they want to do something that can sharpen their skills and earn them money, mm-hmm. but it's it's kind of been it's been super hard, but with this nil, you know, it's something we're already doing, yeah, which is a sense which we'll get into, yeah, what we've talked about earlier with connect nil, it's if it's something we're already doing and we can make money just by doing it and you know helping out along the way, uh-huh. then that, that's the best way to, that's the best kind of work. Yeah. If you're already doing it, like we're yeah. already doing it for free. Yeah. Get paid sense. for it. Yeah. But now we can get paid for what we've already been doing. It's, mm-hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So, mm-hmm. uh, let's see, I guess one question I have for you, you talked about how your boss was a former college mm-hmm. athlete. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you feel like co- former college athletes will step in and, and help? Will they, will they not, or will everyone just be sad that they didn't get an opportunity to make some money off their name, image, and likeness when they were playing? What do you think? That's a good question. I think, you know, we hope it's the former athletes because that they get yeah. it. They get it. It's so much easier talking with, with anyone or doing any type of business if someone has done what you've done. Yeah. So I think it depends on, you know, where the team is at and stuff. Um, like the culture of the team from the past and stuff. Yeah. And I sure hope the players, the former former players jump in and help out mm-hmm. the guys that are going through it. I, I know if I was a, a made player or not even just like, a, um, you know, alumni with it, with a business, I would love to give back to you know, my college football team. Cause yeah. I, I've loved my experience up at the U and so that's just what you do. You give back. Yeah. And I'm, I'm such a big believer in that. You know, yeah. I felt like, uh, you know, after going through the college, you know, football, basketball experience college sports and you go through that and you see so many different athletes going through different things Mm -hmm. now you're out of it Mm -hmm. and you're kind of you're looking from the outside in but you know what's going on and so for me you know i'm i'm one of those guys that i just want to help them Mm -hmm. you know and i want to help these college athletes get the most out of it yeah you know and so uh you know that's i feel like there's a lot of players like that yeah i think that's the I mean, that's what makes a team a team is you guys struggle together. Yeah. And honestly, it's, it would, like you struggle through the workouts and the training and stuff and the camps. Mm-hmm. But then it sucks, by the, you know, bringing you close together knowing you guys are struggling off the field. <laughs> <laughs> but now instead of coming closer through our struggles, we come closer through our gains. Yeah. Which I think yeah. is going to be a sweet, you know, it's going to flip on its head. It's going to be a great dynamic instead of, you know, a teammate, like, dude, I need 40 bucks for my rent right now. Like can you shoot me 40 bucks and stuff? And yeah. And instead of like being like, Oh yeah, man, like struggling and just like both of us biting the bullet. Instead it can be like, how can we lift each other into opportunities with our name, image and likeness? So instead of like the struggle, instead of coming closer together through struggle, we're coming closer together through, you know, yeah. Positive experience, positive experiences and stuff. And yeah, no, that's awesome. Uh That's awesome. No, I appreciate you talking or sharing that. Yeah. Um, so I guess moving down the line here, what do you think, what do you think NIL will turn into in a year from now, three years from now, five years from now? Like, what do you see? Oh, yeah. I'm not exactly Hopefully sure. Hopefully you're in the NFL by then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> let's go, yeah, man. That's the plan. That's the plan for sure. Um, you know, I, I don't know exactly, but hopefully th- this is what 
everyone in the locker room is hoping it is. Okay. That it's set up in such a way where it's there's no hassle. Um, that there's no kickback from like the university because a lot of guys are scared of yeah. you know, still being held back. Yeah, for from sure. The NCAA or from their university mm-hmm. or getting sued and stuff. So yeah, hopefully within a year, it's running smoothly. You know, it's all you know, rainbows and sunshine in the sense of. <laughs> We'll take those rainbows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like we'll take the wins when we get them. Oh, for sure. And so, hopefully, in a year, it's at a point where guys are able to, you know, the locker room's different. Talking in the sense of this, and that, um, that money's in the pocket where they have that security yeah. and that freedom of you know of their, their space in their head and their focus, um, and that burden off their you know their backs from physical work uh, yeah. or jobs they do, and that they're yeah. able just to focus on really being a football player. You know. Or you know, a basketball player, whatever team mm-hmm. you're on, and just being a good teammate and focusing on winning. Yeah, sure, that's mm-hmm. great. So think about. I want you to put yourself in the shoes of a high school kid right now. Yes. The end name, image, and likeness just came out. What type of advice would you give to a high school kid right now that's that has the opportunity to play at the next level, mm-hmm. uh, and will definitely probably benefit from NIL? Yeah. Yeah, what type of uh, advice would you give him? I think it's going to rock the recruiting world, first of all. Definitely. So as a college, ath- I mean, as a high school athlete, up and coming as a college recruit, mm-hmm. I think that's going to play a big role in the recruiting world. Yeah. Um, but just advice-wise, you know, you're under the spotlight as an athlete always. You're on TV in front of millions of people. Yep. And – as we know with technology today, people can dig back and find any dirt on you. Yeah. And so I they think they will, and they will find and it. And they, w- they will find they it. They will find it. Uh-huh. So uh, yeah, I keep going here. And I so like going. any, any athlete, <laughs> a, a high school athlete, like if there's dirt or some Snapchat sage video memory or some dumb tweet or some yeah. dumb story post, your dream will be hindered as, as, you, as, as, as and it can be shot down so quickly yeah. if, if you don't. Take care of your, your brand and image, which is going to be interesting to see. I think it's going to sway social media in the sense of, I think people are going to start to you know care about about it more. Definitely. I think there's going to be some more authentic. Um, like I said, I think this is also just part of who's going to rise to the top and and kind of learn how to do this. Is how am I going to leverage, but also keep my brand, but I don't want to be like a robot on social media, yeah, but yeah. help them be themselves in the sense of this is I carry a brand. The brand's my last name on my back. Yeah, as a, as an athlete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's that's great advice because, you know, yeah, I remember going to the, you know, the NFL Combine and, you know, they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll pull up stuff that mm-hmm. from forever ago. It didn't happen to me. I heard stories about it happening oh, yeah. to other no, guys. Oh, and yeah. They'll ask you about it. You hey, hear stories? This. Well, actually, the, the, the news posts it, like, they'll show stuff, you know, and, oh, is this going to hurt his draft stock? And they post it and. So I think that's great advice, man, mm-hmm. to high school kids. Is mm-hmm. now with the name, image, and likeness, you have to be, uh, you have to be careful. You mm-hmm. have you, got, you have to be smart. So mm-hmm. like, you might have a big deal come up uh-huh. on your freshman year. You're going to be signed to a four year deal or something. Uh-huh. I don't know, and they won't do it now because yeah. of what you did when you were yeah. uh, younger. Yeah, and I just yeah. think even, like I said, I feel like it's going to push a lot of kids to worry about you know maybe shy away from it. But you you know you got to lean into it. It's yeah. Social media is such a ludicrous, you know, tool in today's world. Yeah. You got to lean into it and learn how to use it because if not, you're just going to be left behind in this it's NIL. True. And true. I think when it comes to it, and I think it's going to help them build those skills to handle if there's conflict or something hard in their life, you know, it's to be able to mm-hmm. unfold in a way on social media that they'll have to learn to do. Mm-hmm. And that will still make it acceptable as a business partner, um, so to say, in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, yeah, that's, that's great. Um, I guess, you know, when you were sitting there talking about it, I was thinking about, you know, that's great advice because you can, one of the hardest things to get in life is respect. Mm -hmm. You can't buy respect. Yeah. And that's something that we've talked about before. Mm -hmm. And as an athlete, you learn that really quick. Yes. If you want your teammates to, you know, follow you, to look at you as a leader Mm -hmm. or, and on any football, on every single football team, there's like a respect. Everyone has a respect like meter on them. You yes. know what I mean? Oh yeah. You know oh, what I mean? everyone knows the guy on the team that doesn't that finishes last on gasters. Everyone knows. Oh yeah. If you ask any team who's the guy that sh- would show up late to a meeting, everyone would point him out. No, because yeah. people know. Yeah. And that's just the respect factor of it. Like that, yeah. That so, scale. No, yeah, and that's, and that's why I liked what you said because mm-hmm. you're helping these young guys see that it's, 
it's about it's about respect I, everything mm -hmm. from on the field to off the field yeah. i think that's really really important yeah really important and it's and it's it all honestly it, it's hard for a, a you know a new starting freshman or anyone on the team mm -hmm. is learning that everything and but that's what makes a team everything i do within my we, we at the university of Utah, we call our 20 square feet we take care of our little bit we yeah you know and that's going to help if everyone has taken care of their 20 square feet around them that they can control that's going to help the whole team mm -hmm. and that and kind of like caring for the respect it's we call like you know the, it's it's how much you like you give a crap so we call it our, our give a crap factor or scale yeah like, like where are you on, on my how much you care and so yeah. and it people will learn that because that's how success and teamwork is built uh -huh. and you see that at a football team level but in a business level too yeah because you, this nil is something you can't be done strictly alone and so you got to be able to really it's going to be super interesting i think for <laughs> kids and it, it could be hard i think there's gonna be a lot of sad stories and that, stuff or that for people that get left behind and whatnot but that's that's you know that's it's adapt and survive and so yeah so do you feel like it's gonna be like recruiting in the sense that because you know i mean in our family we all were uh you know on scholarship we all went to college and played sports uh i felt like after i like when i was done like i didn't really go through a awesome recruiting pr process as in i didn't make the videos or do anything like that mm -hmm. do you feel like it's going to be like recruiting like recruiting changed like from when i was in high school to when you were in high school do you feel like it's gonna be similar in the sense like the, the people that really push themselves out there are gonna benefit more? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you know everyone knows in the recruiting sense, like yeah, you know they butter them up and they say come to our team, <laughs> but then everyone struggles because it's just it's just flat out hard to be a college yeah. athlete, yeah. and it's extra hard to be a contributing you know starter on that team or have a role. Yeah, and so I think that's gonna be part of the you know part of the bid is. Kids are coming on the recruiting trip. They're going to say, hey, this is our business. One of our business partners the university has. Every month they pay our athletes this and this to come do this. Through and, and this will put money in your pocket and you'll really mm. enjoy it here. Mm, and yeah. I think kids hearing that is just going to be another, you know, a, a, you know, money in their pocket, another reason yeah. to commit to that school. And if their family's there too, and, you know, true, it's going to be, they're going to say, yeah, that's, we would love to go to university that has that set up for our son. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so you were one of the first members of Connect NIL. I yes. want to touch on that. Yes. Okay. Tell us a little bit about that because a lot of people don't know about it, but I want to hear mm -hmm. what you, what you think about me, like you talk, like the whole story of us talking about it or, or just like, yeah, just how do you, how do you, it. yeah. Just how do you feel about it? Like when, when we told, when I told you about it, okay. I think it's, uh, you know, it's such an opportunity. We look at how much money the NCAA makes. That's ridiculous. You know, billions of dollars already off college athletes. Yeah. And that we never got a piece of the pie of yeah. that. <laughs> the pie that we're baking <laughs> each year. We're cooking it for we're free. We're cooking huh? it for free. And and we don't even get to eat it. We don't even get, 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 get a piece of it, you know. Um, Man, I want to have to pie that. Is. Yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's a very rich, dense pie. That's what it is. Um, but, um, you know, it's so new and it's so crazy that, like, I mean, I mean, no one really knew it's going to pass and whatnot. Yeah. So it, it's crazy that nothing super big has been in, put in place. You know, our universities say they have, a, but it's still brand new. No one really knows. It's still like yeah. uncharted territory. Yeah. So here in Connect NIL, you know, just thinking, okay, there's something out there that no matter where I am, well, first of all, we know the big guys are going to get the deals. And yeah. Th that's kind of the problem that we're, yep. we're seeing. Mm-hmm. Unless you're, you know, the all-star quarterback at a SEC first school, round, yeah. first rounder, or a potential first rounder. Yeah, which you, is 32 picks. Which is 32 <laughs> picks. And th so you take 32 guys out of one sports team compared to all the sports team and athletes that participate in NCAA, that's like, what, a point zero or something percent? Yeah, it's small. And so they're going to get taken care of, you know, yeah. and good for them. But then it leaves all these other people without an opportunity or not knowing how because they don't have someone offering them, you know, the, the work and the time or, you know, for – they don't have someone going into businesses and fighting and putting yeah. their, and selling their name. Mm -hmm. And so Connect on L, I think, what is genius, what you did, mm -hmm. brother. <laughs> so, oh, that little compliment. Uh, Thanks, yes, man. yeah. <laughs> Which is genius. Uh, was, to dinner after this. <laughs> was uh, right on. <laughs> McDonald's. Uh, <yeah>. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what was genius <laughs> was you putting it into a, which is a website yeah. where they can do it themselves 
but they don't need to be a marketing major or Mr. Social yeah. or Mr. Businessman. Yeah. Because we know there's a lot of athletes that aren't. It's Yeah, the majority. And a lot of athletes that need this money. I know it, so many guys that need that's it. That's exactly why we made it. Why we made it. Yeah. And then, so it's a website, eventually an app, you know, that is going to allow, that's going to level the playing field, that's going to leave, you know, yeah, that 0.01% of the, the superstars are going to be taken care of. But there's still so much, so many people that care. Yeah. Like so much money involved, so many people that care, money that can be made, given to those people that are making the pie, you know? Yeah. And so um, I just think that's awesome on a scale. You know, technology is where, where it's at. Technology yeah, makes everything. That's what we <laughs> technology, you know, that we always talk about, you know, like businesses, you know, business will get you, you know, a lot of money, but technology will make you, you know, yeah. It's Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, look at those guys. It's all, it's all in the tech. <laughs> yeah, the tech, the tech is Because it, it helps, awesome. it helps so many people and, and technology is, is able to, you know, help some people and it's going to help some people in this sense. Yeah. No, yeah, that's awesome. I, uh, I think, you know, the tech sector is huge mm -hmm. and we need more athletes involved. And that's part of the reason why I, I built Connect to NILs. Yeah. You know, I want to help athletes see and understand that the tech world is not some far off dream. Mm -hmm. It's something that you can do mm -hmm. and, and you can build it. And that's why we built it in zero to eight days. Mm -hmm. And we documented it all. I can't wait to share it mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, because it's, but you get to see the grind because it just, it's awesome because uh -huh. the football just that you learn, the skills you learn from football, they, they transfer over to that. Yeah. So, and so that's what I always think about. And as an athlete right now, mm -hmm. I see other peers and students of, of mine that will, that are out making, you know, they take semesters off and they go to get these awesome internships and jobs. And, and I feel, I get self-conscious and worried because I feel like, Mm. I'm just getting behind because they're getting these real life, real world skills, and I'm in my football world, and I don't, I know my skills in football, but how am I gonna get those skills to yeah. translate yeah. into, you know, because it all comes to an end someday with the sports world. Yeah, that's true. So how? And so I get super worried. I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's why I'm like, do I need to get a job? Do I need to? How can yeah, I? Yeah, you feel like your skills. Are I, left I, feel like, I feel like, yeah, like I'm, I'm getting left behind, and and you know, see my peers move on, and and I see them, you know, which is having great success, and they work hard at it, but it's like. I haven't get gotten paid yet. I don't even know if my skills are going to be real life skills. Yeah, you don't know. It, so it's uh, so scary, and it's it's such a big dark empty hole. But that's what NI, NIL uh, Connect NIL has done, is made it really easy. Yeah, and and that's why I love is how you can sign up so yeah. quickly, and so I mean we talked about and helped put that sign up, sign up process together. Yeah, and so uh, me being an um, an athlete on Connect NIL, it's you know y I go on just like any sign up to anything. Um, first name, last name, email, phone number. Yeah. But then you guys are able to say, you know, what are your interests? What are your hobbies? Um, you know, wh what would you be up for? Would you mm -hmm. up for shooting commercials, doing a radio show, you know, mm -hmm. just signing autographs or, you know, posting on social media. Mm -hmm. And that's really all it is. And it's nice having some, you know, connect NIL fight for us in that sense, help us be seen. Because that's yeah. all athletes want. They want to be seen. And that's what yeah. Connect is. It gets athletes seen. Yeah. And then businesses see us and are able to, to connect. Yeah. And it's Connect NIL. There you <laughs> so go. That's why we there it is. There, yeah. And it's awesome. And so I think, you know, I me just being your brother, you know, I'm the skeptical brother. You, you always are have, the skeptical brother. You always have a million ideas. <laughs> and I'm always like, <laughs> like shoot them, I shoot them all down. Or I think, what about this, this, and this? But, you know, this is something super special that you've been through and experience. I'm still experiencing as this college, just being a college athlete and something that will help so many people. Yeah. So I really hope people will jump on and see the simplicity of it and the hassle free, like, cause that's, that's, that's the scary part. It's hard part. Guys right now are trying to be like, who do I sign to? Who do yeah. I reach out to? Do I, am I overreaching? Is that hurting my, my image? Yeah. Um, am I locked into a contract? I actually didn't look over and stuff. Oh yeah. But Oof. yeah. Connect on NIL, the sign up, Everything's made it super safe, super simple. Cool. Um, yeah. Dang, and man. Th that's, that's the best kind of money people want is super safe and super simple deals. And so I need to hire you. <laughs> hey, I'm open for business, man. Yeah. Ambassador right, there. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. I appreciate you sharing about Connect mm -hmm. I appreciate you talking about your experiences with just name, image, and likeness in general. And like, you know, getting on here and, giving some great advice to younger athletes because you, when you were younger is sitting out there and me too, you know, there's two brothers out there playing sports and they have no idea what they're stepping into as far as 
uh, you know, high school sports is going to change, mm-hmm. college sports. I mean, we've already seen every how it's changed. So I just want to say thanks. You know, grateful you're able to come over here. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm excited to watch you play this year. Tear it up. Thanks, bro. Yeah, get all, <laughs> get as many sacks as you can. But yeah. we'll catch everyone next time on Uncle Bronson's podcast. We'll see you. Awesome. Thank you.